How's it going guys? Chaos Prime here and we are back with another Destiny 2 video and it seems the news doesn't stop. So it seems the Solstice armor will require Prestige Leviathan clear among other things. The requirements have already been data mined and are on your screen now. Personally, I feel putting the body behind the Leviathan Prestige raid clear is harsh. This is a celebration piece and as such has nothing to do with the raid. They locked the weapons behind the raid, why not lock these behind the solstice event? I mean these requirements are not even simple requirements either, some are insanely time consuming. When you look at the helm, you have to complete a nightfall on prestige at or above the bonus threshold which is not yet determined. The gauntlets, complete heroic strikes with at least one clanmate which is fairly simple. Heroic strikes are pretty much do lally now. The chest plate complete the Leviathan raid on prestige difficulty. Now for many this is pretty much not possible because they haven't even had a chance to raid since the release of Destiny 2 with the way the current system is. However, those that have been clearing have also still found it difficult to do the prestige raid clear. So locking something like this that's supposed to be a celebration in my honest opinion is wrong. Then you have the legs, which require you to achieve legend rank in the Valor Crystal rankings. Now based on how broken the point system currently is, you don't even get 20 points now for your first victory. If you haven't, if you didn't take advantage of the triple rank weekend, you're pretty much screwed. You're pretty much going to need to do this from now till the end of time before the event finishes in order to attain that legend rank. I'm not joking, this is going to take an awfully long time. I can comfortably say that it would be faster for you to go into the Leviathan raid as a fresh newbie, at, to the prestige raid that is, have people teach it to you, go through it and do it than it would to get this. This is going to take weeks of grinding in the Crucible. And for many of you that don't like Crucible, this is going to be hell on earth. Finally we have the mark which requires you to defeat bosses and that's as vague as you're possibly going to get. This is pretty much the requirements for the final step before Masterworks. So in my opinion, I think some of these requirements are a little heavy, especially the Legend rank and the Prestige raid, but it is there. So the event starts on the 31st of July. Start getting your practice in now. Start those Crucible clears now, because if you want this armor, even though it's going to be outdated in 5-6 weeks now, you pretty much want to get it and start farming for it now. The 6 remaining triumphs have also been data mined and are on your screen now. They are as follows. Above and Beyond, which requires Masterworks any Solstice of Heroes armor, which again requires those lengthy requirements that I was just talking about. Fashion Hero, upgrade the full Solstice of Heroes armor set to legendary quality again requiring those two sets of challenges that I've just mentioned. Remember who you are, complete each Redux mission at least once, which is fairly simple. In my element, collect 250 elemental orbs, I assume these are going to be something that's going to be part of the Redux missions, as such you'll just need to collect 250 of them, so the grind will be real depending on how many drop per mission. Running errands, complete 25 bounties, these are fairly simple, and if you have three characters, you can pretty much do 15 a day, so it's really not that much of a problem. The hero we deserve. Complete 25 public events on heroic difficulty. Again, you can pretty much smash these out at any time, and maybe some of these are actually going to be retrospective as well. So the complete 25 public events on heroic difficulty might already be complete. If you've already done 25 bounties, they might be complete. The rest will be locked to the actual event itself, but those two may actually be done before you even start the event. So really, to get the t-shirt, it's really not hard, but if you want to 100% it and get all 400 points, you really do need to go into the Prestige Rays, which may suck for some people. Finally, I wanted to show a video from Game Informer showcasing the public event that will be in the Dreaming City. You may have realised I didn't make a video of the second level in Destiny 2 campaign that Game Informer released. I also did not watch this video as I feel revealing everything before the game comes out in actual campaign for me is pushing it a bit too far. My personal view and it's why I didn't cover it. It's the campaign that should be experienced first hand here though, we have a public event. 
so let's dive in and see what it's like for everyone else. The event has you powering up a generator, then defending it from a deluge of enemies as Game Informer puts it, to prevent it from shutting down. Eventually as the generator deteriorates, you'll have to grab orbs from some of the stronger enemies and run them back to the generator to charge it up again. Think of it like the walker and the weapons cache. Though not shown on the video, what's super cool is that the heroic version takes you to the Dreaming City's darker side, the Ascendant Realm. Really looking forward to trying this public event out. It does sound really interesting and the fact that we are now jumping between planes of existence is pretty damn awesome and starting to become a lot more Destiny. Well everyone, that's pretty much everything for this video. The Twib will be released tonight, but by the time it comes out it's going to be far too late for us UK folk, so I'll have to cover that tomorrow. If you're new here, show that love and subscribe. If you're already sub, much love to you, drop a like and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching and the continued support, and remember Guardians, we're not far from that 1000 sub mark. Let's get there, and above all else everyone, remain legend.